Hello and welcome. I'm Miss Heard with Miss Heard Song Lyrics Podcast. We're doing Season 4, Episode 185, First Ever, Christopher Cross. The Miss Heard Song Lyric is, Make it to the border of Mexico. And then the correct lyrics is, Make it to the border of Mexico. You guessed it. It's Ride Like the Wind. So we're doing the Miss Heard Song Lyric for his song, Ride Like the Wind. So I grew up with Christopher Cross in the early 80s, and I remember a relative clearly stating that, boy, he sings like an angel but looks like a boxer. You would not ever expect that sweet, beautiful voice coming from that man. He, if he was uh, competing today in any of the shows, especially with not people seeing him and them turning around, they'd be like, whoa, I can't believe it's from that guy. But that is who Christopher Cross is. So let's first talk about Ride Like the Wind. It's the debut single for American singer-songwriter Christopher Cross. It was released in February of 1980. Wow. As the lead sing single from his Grammy-winning 1979 self-titled debut album. It also reached number two on the U.S. charts for four consecutive weeks behind Blondie's Call Me, Ah, So Call Me. And on the album's inner sleeve, Christopher Cross actually dedicated, a song, dedicated this song to a Lowell George, formerly of the band Little Feet, who had died in 1979, so he put that in the, in the album sleeve. It also features, you guessed it, backing vocals by Michael McDonald and a guitar solo by Cross. So you, you do hear Michael McDonald um, in Ride Like the Wind, because I was like, is that Michael McDonald? Yes, it is. All right, so let's talk about a little bit about what the song is about and a little bit more about Christopher Cross. Who is he? Is Christopher Cross his real name? So apparently the lyrics of the song is really about a condemned criminal on the run to Mexico. That's why the misheard song lyric is border to, uh, to the border of Mexico, but making it, not naked. So that's the difference. Uh, it says it's told in the first person point of view and it describes how an outlaw and convicted multiple murder, I didn't get the multi multiple murder though, on the run from a death by hanging sentence had to ride like the wind, in quotes, to reach the border of Mexico, where we assume that the posse in pursuit of him are not able to catch him. So that's what the song is about. And Cross described ride like the wind as, quote unquote, sort of a romanticized Western where the bad guy gets away. What I didn't know is when he wrote it, how did he wrote it? What was the process? Well, Cross said he was on LSD when he wrote the lyrics. He said, quote unquote, we were living in Houston at the time and on the way down to Houston or Austin, to be precise, to record the songs, it was just a beautiful Texas day. I took acid. So I wrote the words on the way down from Houston to Austin. That's what I needed to, to get my one hit wonder. I need to just do, do acid and, and then I could write an amazing song like this. So didn't know that. So that's a new new info that now I know about Ride Like the Wind. So let's talk about Mr. Christopher Cross, and we'll get back to how the song did a little bit later. So he was born Christopher Charles Geppert on May 3rd, 1951. So he's a Taurus, I believe, and he will be 72. Whoa, 72 this May. Again, he is an American singer-songwriter. He's from San Antonio, Texas. He won five Grammy Awards with his debut album, like I said, that was released in 1979, with Sailing, 1980, Sailing Takes Me Away, Away, Oh, Oh, Oh. My other favorite song of his is Arthur's theme, Best That You Can Do. When you get back into the moon in New York City. From the 1981 film Arthur, for those of you old enough to know, I was young, but I remember seeing the movie. I loved it. It was with a comedian and funny guy, but also can play a, a mean piano who's passed away since. But... It was Dudley Moore. He plays the multimillionaire that was always drunk. And when I looked up his age, he was in his 40s. I mean, like as a young kid, he looked older, like, oh my God, he was younger than I am now. Oh my gosh. And a beautiful Liza Minnelli as the love interest. And she was like in her mid to late 30s. So, oh, wow. If you haven't seen it, it's called Arthur. Uh, that theme for Arthur's theme peaked at number one on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100. And then Sailing earned three Grammys in 1981, while Arthur Seam won an Oscar for Best Original Song in 1981 with co-composers Burt Bacharach, who just passed away recently, Carol Bayer Sager, and Peter Allen. Beautiful song. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, just go and find it on YouTube, internet, just put in Arthur Seam and you'll know what I'm talking about. Another thing interesting about Christopher Cross is his common theme of using the symbol of a 
pink flamingo. And apparently it's in most of his album covers or something that when asked, is there a meeting between, meaning between using the flamingo? Are you, does he like the bird, whatever? He has said, not, there's nothing really. He just, just so I guess he must like it enough that that's what his motif is that he uses ever since. So it's a painting that you'll see on his album from 1979. It's his, what he used for his first album cover featuring the flamingo. And like, like I said, he's used that look ever since. So a little bit more about Mr. Christopher Cross, a.k.a. Christopher Charles Gepard. He is described as an army brat. He's the son of a U.S. Army pediatrician stationed at Walter Reed Army Hospital in Washington, D.C. And in mid-50s, his doctor was acting as a physician for President Dwight Eisenhower's grandchildren. So pretty high up there. Uh, Mr. Christopher Cross attended Alamo Heights High School in San Antonio and graduated in 1969. He was then involved in football and track. I can totally see the football. Cause he's a he's a big guy, and then Cross married a Roseanne Harrison from 1973 until they sadly divorced in '82, and then his 1988 marriage to a Jan Bunch ended in a 2007 divorce. I couldn't find anything else if he's with anyone or he's newly married. So there you go. So how did he start his music career? So Christopher Cross, A.K. Christopher Charles Geppert and a bassist by the name of Andy Salmon and keyboardist Rob Muir met in San Antonio when they were still teens. Christopher Cross and Salmon became bandmates in a band called Flash with, of course, Geppert on guitar, a.k.a. Christopher Cross, and together they formed Christopher Cross as a band. So that's interesting that Christopher Cross is, I'm assuming, Christopher Cross a person, but they also named their band that. And they all moved to Austin where they added drummer Tommy Taylor, there, they played covers for Cash while recording demo versions of original songs at Austin's Pecan, or Pe Pecan, I think they say it. It depends on how you say it. Pecan Street Studios, where they shopped to record labels. Cause remember back then, people, we didn't have YouTube. We didn't have Spotify. Our, you had to try to get signed with a record label. And though they considered themselves a band, Warner Brothers finally signed Christopher Cross as a solo artist in early 1979. So that's how it became... Christopher Cross, solo artist. He is also known for his vocals, as I said earlier, my, my relatives like, he has a voice of an angel, and his songwriting. And he's also, I didn't realize, a skilled guitarist. And it looks like Donald Fagan and Walter Becker of Steely Dan invited Christopher Cross to play on their albums, but Cross declined. So he did, at the time, substitute for Richie Blackmore during a Deep Purple concert in 1970 when Blackmore fell ill, but that was it. Okay, so let's talk about back to the song and his success of his album. So Cross, Christopher Cross, the the record, his first one, came out December 27th, 1979. So right after Christmas at that time, Billboard Hot 100 Top 20 Hits, which included Ride Like the Wind, the misheard song link we're talking about today, and of course, backing vocals by Michael McDonald, Michael McDonald, and then Sailing, and then another song I totally forgot he did, it's called Never Be the Same. Never be the same as I never was, or whatever it was. And then Say You'll Be Mine, featuring backing vocals by Nicolette Larson. Ride Like the Wind itself hit number two in on the U.S. Hot 100 while sailing top the chart for one week. So he was having multiple songs in the top 10 uh, during the same time. And then Never Be the Same actually went number one on the adult contemporary chart. Across, the album and the song Sailing were nominated for six Grammy Awards in 1981 and won five. So of the six, he was nominated, he won five. That's amazing. Cross was the first artist in Grammy history to win all four General Fields Awards in a single ceremony. So back in the 23rd Annual Grammy Awards, he brought home the, the award for Record of the Year with Sailing, Album of the Year for Christopher Cross, Song of the Year for Sailing, and then Best New Artist, at, again, at the 23rd annual Grammy Awards. Has this happened since? It hasn't happened for 39 years later until Billie Eilish won all four awards at the 62nd annual Grammy Awards in 2020. So 39 years later, that's amazing. In addition to sailing, it won for best arrangement accompanying vocals. And then Christopher Cross has been certified platinum five times in the US, meaning he sold over 5 million copies. I think I didn't have it, but I remember my cousin and her dad had the cassette tape because i remember the flamingo and i also had the eight track tape and if you don't know what an eight track tape is just google it young people okay like i said earlier he released arthur's theme from the movie arthur 
and it did well. It won an Oscar for it. So he is amazing. And then, of course, things change. And then when the MTV era started to come in, he kind of died down. Because, you know, you remember when it came in the early 80s, MTV artists that did well were ones that visually looked great. And so for him, you know, he just was regular guy. I think it was just like, okay, it's, it's not his time anymore. And, but don't be sad. Um, years later, like in now we're in the 20, 20s and on, there is a love for Christopher Cross, as we now call it Yacht Rock or Easy Listening, and he's come back. So he's back. So there's some updates I wanted to share with you. On April 3rd of 2020, it was confirmed on his own Facebook page that he actually tested positive for COVID-19 virus and was still recovering. And then later on, this is a little, this is interesting. He reported on Twitter that he had lost the use of his legs, but luckily, as doctor said, he should fully recover. Physicians told him his COVID-19 actually triggered an episode of I don't know how to say it, so I'm going to try to do my best Guillain-Barre syndrome that causes the nerves in the legs to stop functioning properly. And by October 2020. Christopher Cross was able to walk with Kane, but said his memory and speech have been affected. That's crazy about COVID-19. And then in 2021 and 2022, he played his 40th anniversary concert tour, which was originally planned in 2020 because of COVID, they had to push it. So then the question is, what is GBS or Guillain-Barre syndrome? It is what it says on the internet that I was able to find. It's a rapid onset of mu muscle weakness caused by immune system damaged by the peripheral nervous system, meaning Typically, both sides of the body are involved and the initial symptoms are changes in sensation or pain, often in the back along with muscle weakness, beginning the feet and the hands, often spreading to the arms and upper body. That is scary. Uh, the symptoms can develop over hours to a few weeks, so pretty quickly. And then during the acute phase of it, the disorder can be life-threatening with about 15% of people developing weakness of the breathing muscles and therefore requiring some mechanical ventilation to help them breathe. Some are affected by changes in the function of the auto, I don't know, autonomic yes, yes. nervous system, which can lead to dangerous abnormalities in heart rate and blood pressure. Um, so this is something that he has. And of course, it was triggered, unfortunately, when he had COVID-19. So interesting. And um, hopefully he will be able to walk fully. He says he's walking with Kane. And they said that this this disease is named after French neurologist named Georges Goulin and Jean André Barre, who together with a French physician, André Stroll, des described this uh, condition back in 1916. So there you go. Um, we hope he's doing better. We love you, Christopher Cross. I, I tell you what, if he came in the Northwest in the United States where I live, I would love to see him perform because I love his voice. And again, the Mr. song lyric is, naked to the border of Mexico. It's not naked, but it does sound like it. It's make it to the border of Mexico. So if any of you that are listening, if you have a great misheard suggestion like this or others, let us know. You can always send it to any of our social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, Insta, or you can just send us a email at misheard, that's M-I-S-S-H-E-A-R-D songs at gmail.com. And you never know, we might talk about your misheard song there. Till then, keep singing the songs wrong. Bye.